What's going on, football fans? It's time once again for another edition of the Falcon Eye View. I'm your host, J.R. Clark, and today we're going to be talking about our third round pick, Duke Riley, linebacker out of LSU. Now, this was an interesting pick to me. Uh, I, I figured the Falcons were going to go linebacker at some point in time in the draft. You know, I figured you know, we could use, you know, the depth for sure. I just didn't think it was going to be necessarily in the third round. I figured fourth round at the earliest. I figured more than likely it was going to be in the fifth round with a guy, some guy, you know, that had been bandied about a linebacker out of Boise. But uh, now saying that, not to say that I'm upset with the uh, Duke Riley pick. By no means am I upset with it. I'm actually quite pleased with it because in, in Duke Riley, you have yet another version of Deion Jones, another very fast, very instinctual, very, you know, smart linebacker. A guy who can move through traffic, you know, a guy who's, who's got those, you know, that, that, you know, that killer instinct. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, he was obviously, you know, if you don't realize, he was, you know, Deion Jones' backup for, you know, while he was at LSU. And so, you know, when Deion Jones got drafted last year, it was his time to shine. And shine he did to the tune of like 90 plus tackles, 40 of them solo, 50 assists. He had a, you know, 1.5 sacks, which, Pretty good for a linebacker, you know, especially like a middle linebacker, you know, like middle of the field. And he's more of a, uh, I guess in, in our our scheme, since we already have Deion Jones, he would probably fit in as more of a will linebacker. You know, if you have Devondre Campbell as your Sam linebacker and, and Duke as your will linebacker with Deion in the middle, I think that's a pretty solid core. I mean, our core now assists of, you know, consists of uh, Kamal Ishmael, Leroy Reynolds, DeAndre or um, Devondre Campbell, Deion Jones, and now Duke Riley. I mean, that, that's setting up for a pretty good core, you know, of of young, uh, ultra athletic linebackers. That's what I'm now considering to be the modern NFL linebacker. You know, for the longest time, you know, you wanted that that you know, heavy hitter, that thumper, that Ray Lewis type linebacker, that headhunter. But you know, nowadays with the you know the NFL offense is wanting to spread you out more, wanting to get, you know, guys in space. You got to have guys who can cover that space. You know, you've got to have got to have guys who can run that space down, eat that space up. And that's what these fast athletic linebackers are. That's you know, it kinda really come to my attention with uh, a couple years back when the Cardinals drafted uh Deion Buchanan. You know, he was initially slotted as like a third day safety. You know, because he was a tweener. The Cardinals took him in the first round and made him a a, a not so prototypical linebacker at the time. And now, you know, the, the league is a reactionary league. Now you're starting to see more of these guys who aren't necessarily, you know, great covering and safety, but you drop them down on the linebacker, put them closer to the line of scrimmage, and now you've got something. You know, you got a fast twitch guy. You know, a guy who, you know, has got the ball hawking skills so to speak, or a guy who's got, you know, just that speed and that instinct. And I think that's what Duke Riley brings us. You know, now on your base package, you could have, uh, you know, Duke at will, uh, Dion at middle, and Devondre at Sam. You know, that that's pretty good. And then on your base, depending on, or not your base, but your nickel, depending on who we're playing that day, you know, or, or at that particular time, you know, you could have, you know, Duke and Dion on the field at the same time. You could have... Uh, Dion and Devondre like we did last year and that worked out pretty well or you know if Duke needs a or not Duke but if Dion needs a breather then you have Duke and Devondre well there's a lot a lot of D's that I'm gonna have to get right a lot of D names that I have anyway but uh so he I, I think the Falcons did good here with the with the selection of Duke Riley I think it gives them another fast you know modern day NFL linebacker who can cover who can hit who can tackle who's, you know, very smart diagnosing plays. Um, so, yeah, that's you know, that's where I stand on, on Duke Riley. You know, watching his tape, you know, playing against the big boys in the SEC, you know, he stood out, you know, quite a bit, you know, either spying a quarterback or, um, you know, causing safeties or whatnot. You know, he was, you know, he, he's a player. You know, and I encourage you, as I always do, you know, if you got the time, you know, sit down and watch, you know, draft breakdown if nothing else. You know, if you really want to, you know, be a, a football head, so to speak, you know, there's college games on YouTube right now. 
that you can go back and watch. And uh, it makes for, you know, a fun afternoon if you ain't got nothing else to do. But that's that's where I stand on Duke Riley. But now i kind of got a little bit of an announcement to make myself. Um, I'm going to be joining uh, Toby D over at uh, Faith Football Fans. I'm going to be posting most of my stuff over on his channel. I'm still going to post stuff on my channel, but not nearly you know as frequently. Um, but I encourage you to go over to his channel, and I'll put a link down below in the description. But I encourage you to go over to his channel, uh, uh, subscribe there. Uh, that way you can you know stay up to date with, with all the stuff that I put out and then enjoy the stuff that he puts out as well. I feel like most of you are probably from you know his channel uh, and subscribe to my channel. And if you are, hey, great, awesome. Thank you for the subscription. But if you're not, if you found me just on a whim, uh, I suggest, or not suggest, I highly recommend that you go over to uh, Faith Football Fans and subscribe to that channel because uh, that's where our bulk of our material is going to be podcast is on itunes under, under falcon eye view you know trying to give you all the content that you that you want in any way you want it you know if you want to sit in front of your computer and listen to 45 minutes or take it with you on on the road while you're driving to work or whatever so you know it's just all about trying to get you the information you want when you want it how you want it kind of deal uh so yeah that's on itunes and falcon eye view uh you can also find it on soundcloud under the same name falcon eye view or on, on either my channel or Toby's channel. But so to wrap it all up, you know, the podcast is on iTunes under Falcon Eye View. I'm going to be posting the vast majority of my content that I do now is going to be on the Faith Football Fans uh, YouTube page. I'll put a link in the description down below, like I said. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for join, joining us. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the likes, the comments, the views it's all been a lot of fun shows that you y'all really like it and uh want us to continue thanks